What's going on YouTube world? It's that dude named Dave and I am back with another video. You know what I'm gonna do here? We gotta do the house cleaning. Click like, subscribe, and click on our bell notification below. Why? I'm still here, I'm still kinda struggling, but I need the YouTube algorithm. So I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to do that. A few seconds here. All right. So today's video, we're coming back to Kevin Samuels now. Now, I wanna warn everybody who's been watching my content lately. This one's gonna be a little bit longer than normal. This one needed time to build, okay? This wasn't no quick hitter, you know? He had to ask a lot of questions and we got to a doozy at the end here. So all I'm gonna say is this one is called Mother of Three. So let's get to the video. Hello, how are you? I am well. How old are you? 40. Okay, what did I get wrong? What did I get wrong? You didn't, what? You didn't get anything wrong. You didn't what? get anything wrong. My question is, I think I'm not your average listener. A lot of times people, things you talk about don't per se apply to me. And my question is, this is like, okay, I'm 40. I have three kids. I've done a stay at home mom thing. I'm divorced. I've been divorced for 12 years. So, and I don't need a high value man. I'm a Real fast, 40, three kids, divorce, 12 years. Keep that in mind. Back to the clip. But now where I, I When I was younger, when they talk about stepdaddies, they always just say, you know, here comes a woman, here kids, just add Dave and poor. You know, that'd be like a joke around men, you know, like when I was younger, this is in the 80s and 90s, I'm showing my age here. But when we would joke around, like, you're going to be a stepdaddy, just add Mike and poor. 
that's what she's wanting here. Just add the man and pour, and it's a little bit more harder than that here. So Kevin's trying to drill down. It's taking a little bit while to get here. So let's get back to the video. Ladies, you only use young and dumb in college. Don't use that line to grown men saying, well, I didn't work out. I was just young and dumb. Sound like he was wilding out. If someone's t if someone, I want, I want my men to answer this question here and put in the comment section here. If a woman tells you, hey, bro, I was just young and dumb. You know what my thing, I'm thinking he was on the cock hair or so. I was young and dumb. I had all these dudes. They were in my inbox. I had to get it in. I was just riding it. When I hear young and dumb, I hear you riding a cock carousel. So that's not an answer. That doesn't mean that you's out here wilding. We need answers. Why'd you leave your husband? Let's get back to the clip. Whatever. How hard is it to tell somebody when you got married? I got married at 23 or I got married at 27. It's simple math. You know what year you got married and you know how old you are. That's what it is. If you got married at 23, how, where is the, the numbers don't add up. Rewind the video back. Rewind it back. She said that we were all thinking 23 and now, tw oh boy. This is why we have problems today. You ask a direct question, you can't get a freaking direct answer. Back to the clip. How long have you been how long have you been divorced? I got divorced in 2012. So it's eight years. Yes, sir. 
So I get to be mean because she doesn't know her stuff. Right. These ma- these things matter. These things and this, matter to me. And stuff like this is the reason why they so say you got Kevin married Sanders to hate a women. man at age twenty what? Twenty seven. You got married at twenty seven. Okay. Twenty seven now. All right, and you got divorced at what age? Like 30, 31. Not 31. So you're married four okay. years. When you were married, did you have to work? The math's different now. I didn't work at that. Did you have to work when That's you were married? No. No. All three of your children were by your husband. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So you were married to a man that you didn't have to work and you had all three of your kids and yet you thought you could divorce him and find better. Great. Before you met him at 27, between 18 and 27, what happened here? Right. I was with him as my high school sweetheart. Is that a work? <laughs> so you were just doing her whole you life? Known, and you've seen him grow from high school to 27. He married you, put you in a position that you did not have to work. You had three children, yet you decided to divorce him and go elsewhere. And then you want to talk about how you struggled to be something. See, that's where it all comes in place. Nobody's going to give you credit for struggling. You chose it. You walked away from your man. Agreed. Like I said, I was young and dumb. No, man. Young and dumb. What is young and dumb mean? I need a lot of ladies like yourself. Some of you don't deserve a second chance. Nope. (laughs) Okay. I'm sorry to tell you this. That's where a lot of men think a lot of okay if you was a man and you heard this here why would you want to rock with her why would she, she left the dude that she was with her childhood sweetheart 18 to 27 she was with him got married at 27 had three babies and divorced him four or five years later where do i stand a chance if you left this dude who you've known for your whole life we don't stand a chance that's why we don't do stepdaddies oh boy let's get back to the clip this is getting worse Okay, a lot of men will hear that and say, wait a minute, you found a good man, he married you, he sat you down, you had three children, and you divorced him for no good reason, and you think you deserve to go back. Listen, I'm telling you how men are going to hear this, or do you not want to hear it? She ain't trying to hear it, Kev. This is how men are going to hear this. I married my high school sweetheart almost 10 years after college, after high school. I did not have to work. He took care of everything. All I had to do was be the wife and have babies. And he took care of it. But that still wasn't good enough. I divorced him. Then I had to go out and struggle on my own. Now I look back and say I was young and dumb. Most men are going to say, you don't deserve a second chance. I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you that's what a lot of men are going to hear. I don't trust you. Because you had the best, you had more than... 75% 75% of black women can ever get a husband. And you had a husband paying all the bills and you threw it all away. So most guys gonna be like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna volunteer to, to, to deal with her. Because here's the here's the here's the rounding, let me round it all the way home. Because what's to say if I decide to deal with her and I'm with her for 10 years like a high school sweetheart, then all of a sudden when I need her to be around and I'm 40 and now I'm 60. She gonna be around. She gonna throw me away That's too. That's what I just said, Kev. We don't trust See, her. The way you guys handle men, what you do with men, tells a lot. Your tells men a lot about what you are gonna be like with them. Yep. So and I'm history sorry, history is ma'am. your president future. Go ahead. So let me say this. So I'm sorry, ma'am. No one's gonna hear a sob story about being a single mother and hard times. Ain't no nobody that's gonna fall on deaf ears. You I'm chose. Hear it. I ain't trying to hear it. So go ahead. But with that being said, I you were correct. I chose that. I said I was young and dumb. And then when this time you grow, you realize a lot of things. You know, at that time I wanted to I wanted to know about the bills and all that. Now after dealing with it, I'm like, I wanna know. Just where's he sure at? Get paid. Where's your husband? Grow up. Where's your ex husband? Yeah, where is he at? We we're still still married. We we have a very good we're still married. What? What you say? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You still what? We're still very good friends. Talk to me. Oh, very good friends. That's still bad. That's still bad, Kev. Why y'all so friends? Are you one of these women? Are you one of these women? You one of these women that divorce your husband, and then you still stay involved with it? (laughs) 
No, not like that. Let's not go there. We're, uh, we you said you well. talk with him every day. Right. I do. We have Listen. This is a good one. I told y'all. That's bull crap. You, oh, man. This is why I'm trying to explain to you, you're not really cut out for any other man. When you divorce your husband, he should have shut the door on you. And your only interaction would have been specifically regarding the children. The kids only. Who has primary custody? I do. So he has visitation. Okay. Is he paying child support? Yeah. Then okay. he should not be talking to you ever, Facts. other than direct. Well, listen, other than directly relating the children. Yet yeah, you're still getting his non-sexual attention. He is still speaking to you as like he's in your not in your house, but he's in your life. You're mm -hmm. not cut out. Real fast, guys. If you are in a situation like this and you are divorced. There should be no interaction with that other woman she left you like we're in this situation right now only with the kids should be only communication it muddies the waters her emotional needs are being being met and it's like you're the one being jerked around you don't need these additional problems when she's going to get more emotionally tied it's going to cause more problems later on only deal with the kids and kids only do not let a woman like her string you along and you're stuck in a situation where she got her ex right now back to the video out for another man. I I can't think of a no other man should even want to touch. Why don't you just go? Why don't you just apologize and go ask your husband to take you back? Yeah, that's the best scenario, right? Go back we to your are, old man. We are that. No, no, no. Why don't you go apologize and ask your husband to take you back? Yeah, that's, I have done that. Listen to your show about the Toronto Seven and. And I will have a bottle of a glass and, and make Good. it. Well, then, but that wasn't, yeah, no, but ma'am, that was not the question you asked. You right. asked about going on to another man. Right. That's what I you called it for. The tape. That's what you called and asked. Oh, my God. You didn't say, I how did. can I make it better? Then I asked what she did my question because that's more or less what I want. No, 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 no. You want the date. You're looking for a new dude, but you're saying that you're trying to talk and work it out. Now, you're you're trying to play the balances and trying to see what works out here. My old, my, my baby dad, my ex-husband is right here. We still talk, but maybe I can get back out in the field and find somebody new because he is paying the bills. He is paying child support and I want, I want something new. Maybe I, I can get the old thing back, but maybe I want a new boo. She, you can see how she's stuttering. Oh my God, let's get back to the clip. But that's not what you, I agree. I didn't ask. Right, that Kev. Mm. No, ma'am. You didn't ask the question properly. That ain't what you even asked. You asked about it. Mm. Ladies, why y'all do this to I us? Agree. Ladies, what I need you guys to understand is this is what men are dealing with. Mm -hmm. You hear about how bad black men are, how, how they ain't taking care of their kids, we how they doing ish. all this other stuff. Your husband We're was the black, devil. right? Yes, sir. So your high school sweetheart, did he cheat on you or anything? Or did you cheat on him? No cheating. So how? What age did you? What age did you guys get together in high school? Uh, senior year. Senior year. Seventeen. So senior year. Seventeen. Eighteen. So a man has been with you since you was eighteen, and you took him through over all half your life, and he's still dealing with you. You said you still friends. We still love each other. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! I'm going to reach through this internet and pinch your ear. I said he's still dealing with you. Okay. Would he rightly he right? Okay, ma'am. If the world was right, what should he be? Should he still be talking to you? Hell to the no. He doesn't have to. That's not what I asked you, ma'am. No, answer the question. No, no, he should not be talking to me other than talking about the children. Thank See? you. See the deception, women. See that exactly. Direct he answer. shouldn't be talking to you. You see that? People? So this is what you don't hear. You don't hear that black men go to this time. level trying to be with a black woman. Right. With their wives, with their kids. All you see is the bloody stats. You don't hear this shit that men go through. Man. Well, sadly, I've heard this story so many times. I can predict it. That's why I knew what she was talking about when she first fucking called. Good job, Kev. You're on the you're on the scene. Don't call me asking about getting with a man. You find a way to get on your goddamn knee pads and crawl back to your husband and act like you got some goddamn sense and you mm -hmm. learn to lesson. 
You need to struggle, baby. Go back to your man. You, you don't deserve, deserve another man. No. You don't deserve another bite at the apple. And you're lucky you still got the one that's dealing with you. Facts. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> well, thanks for that. Call me when you get your husband back. Yeah. Get your man back, baby girl. We'll see. I appreciate it. No, 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 no. You know, we'll see. Because there is no other man out here that you should be dealing with. Right. Don't nobody else deserve this. Call me when you get your husband back because your children want that. And honestly, ma'am, it may sound a little bit harsh, but that's who you're really cut out for. And on that note, I think I should stop the video there. This was a pretty long one here. Fellas, ladies, I do have some women here. I look at my stats on YouTube here. So y'all there, y'all starting to come out here. What do you guys think about this? Mother of three been with her man since 17, 18 years old, senior in high school. She left him because she said that she was young and dumb. No cheating. She struck after the divorce struggled and calls in the scene that what, you know, what's dating looking like for a 40 of a single mom. When in actuality, she's been behind the scenes talking to her ex-husband all the time. She said that they're still friends. They still love each other. Guys, don't do this. If a woman leaves you for this, she is selfish. You don't need this in your life. Ladies, why are you leaving your men for no reason? Destroying your homes where your kids should be in the household with both the mommy and the daddy. Mom and dad should both be there. And there's can we make this make sense here? I don't want to ramble right now, but this was, this was, this was a bad, I mean, this was a good video, but this was bad because the state that we see in relationships. Women, you get married, you take the vows. Why are you walking away? Why are you walking away? Especially when you have kids. And you know what though, men? In situations like this, we gotta be stronger here that if they do leave us, and we have kids, cut them off, and only communication is only with the kids only. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know here. Um, this was something, right? Like, comment, subscribe, click on that bell notification below. I wanna hear what you guys think, YouTube. Day ones, newbies, comment on this woman here and Kevin Samuels here. I need to know, okay? But until next time, I'm that dude named Dave, and I'll see you guys later.